Hello and good evening. You are tuning in to a live broadcast of the making of an actual course provided by Udemy.com. In deepening the practice of A Course in Miracles and all 365 lessons to literally achieve ascension this time as I take you along the journey in the way of thinking and the mind training in which I took about myself. I am your host, Reverend Devin Jesse Byrne. Test out the waters on this course and join me with no obligations, no commitments, with the first 30 lessons. Available today. Any continuation after that can be by donation, work trade, or whatever you feel works best for yourself and the whole. Let's see what Spirit has in store for us today. As we start this broadcast live from Utah, USA. Utah. <laughs> what is this place? <laughs> Where does it say anything about it? It's about money. <laughs> in your mind it's about money that's why you hear money <laughs> welcome 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 yeah it's really trippy like what is location hmm what is this place where am I <laughs> who am I <laughs> what is money Hello, it's Reverend Devin Jesse Byrne. Welcome again to another day where we are getting into Lesson 299, Eternal Holiness Abides in Me. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, man. It's rather trippy. Now, I feel like my mics are not loud enough. Are, are they loud enough? Do you hear me, Carla? Are we, are we doing well here? What's something's going on? Things have been a little turned around over here. Maybe it's just me, but I want to be heard, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, let's get into this lesson as far as today's agenda we're going to be reading it recording that for the course then we are <clears throat> you know it's kind of interesting you say this is about money <laughs> when i'm giving this freely away i'm giving like free version and i'm giving the you know yeah there's paid version and it's all about you know trade and completely flexible it's not like there's a set price of any sort but uh, everybody thinks there is so oh. Because, uh, man, we are so confined into this silly idea that we call the physical world and money. And, oh, man. It's like, it's okay to charge for your your practice as far as painting walls, right? But it's not okay for um, me to charge for my practice. <laughs> because it's spiritual. Oh, it's hilarious. 
Uh, in a way, I, I didn't understand it either back in the day, but uh, now there's absolutely no debate in my mind. It's just a silly, selfish joke if I was to do it strictly, I don't know, pro bono. Alright, so you can hear me just fine. Great, awesome. So we're going to read this, then quotes I have in correspondence to it, then discuss it and compile the meditation for it. Let's go ahead and get into that reading. hilarious how many churches there are out there that make uh, that actually make billions of dollars and yet they're okay because they're a church right it's hilarious but no 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 not if you're a spiritual teacher without a church that's unacceptable i don't know the rationality it's insane ideas anyway I'll show you the steps. You take them, and it's inevitable. These are the readings of the lessons of A Course in Miracles. Only part of a very intensive course in which guarantees transcendent experiences of alternate realities. More information at openandclear.com Lesson 299 Eternal Holiness Abides in Me My holiness is far beyond my own ability to understand or know. Yet God my Father, who created it, acknowledges my holiness as His. Our will together understands it, and our will together knows that it is so. Father, my holiness is not of me. It is not mine to be destroyed by sin. It is not mine to suffer from attack. Illusions can obscure it, but cannot put out its radiance nor dim its light. It stands forever perfect and untouched. In it are all things healed, for they remain as you created them, and I can know my holiness. For holiness itself created me, and I can know my source, because it is your will that you be known. <laughs> what is this place? <laughs> You're behind the scenes right in this moment. Great time for any comments or questions because I am exporting this file. And I'll get to you all your comments that you already typed in in just a moment. Thank you for being here and participating. If you want to learn more about this course, please visit openandclear.com. Thanks for being a part of my life. it does. It hasn't done that in a while. How do I get past that again? Mm -hmm. 
that I remember. Yeah, churches, man, as much as I would enjoy a place in which we can all go to discuss reality, it is definitely like a form of crowd control or something. <laughs> Fill my water everywhere. Thought I had the perfect place for it. It's like, oh, that's that's a nice place out of the way. Nope. Guess not. Spilling water everywhere. I don't really have a towel on me. Oh, you know what? I do. <laughs> My son often spills stuff, so we tend to have towels all over the house. <laughs> I found out that there is Unitarian Church here. I am not interested in going though, at least not right now. Well, my experience of Unitarian, I'm sure it depends on the person in charge, whatever they call them. As far as Unitarian, as far as the philosophy might be pretty nice, but uh, I haven't had much, uh, I think I went to two and they were kind of Extremely bland and boring, as far as just reading some text. Literally, just going up there and reading. It's like, why, why do you need a church to do this? What's the point of that? I mean, just get a freaking audiobook. But I don't know if that was a specific two churches that I went to or if that's really how they do it everywhere they're more about Unitarian as in uh, between races and cultures as far as what I know now not not Scientology but Church of Religious Science which is much different. It's based off science of mind. That is something that is very much into this and often talks about A Course in Miracles. There's a lot of actual famous teachers in the New Age community that also discuss the same stuff. A Unity Church is pretty good as well. Unity, not Unitarian. Unitarian Universalists are, n and th that's my experience is very bland and boring. Just reading, like I don't see a point of going to this. I am not racist, so very good. Okay. I don't believe I was suggesting that you're racist. Yeah, not interested, you know, just stay home and read A Course in Miracles. So the Unity Church and uh, 
the spirit Church of Religious Science, which is also called Center for Spiritual Living, uh, depending on your location, is and does talk a lot about A Course in Miracles. So those two churches are something that's pretty big all over the place. Especially Unity. Unity is all over. I said that the Unitarian Universalists are more so about um, bridging cultures and ra races, you know, being universal as in humankind, than they are about actual unity being one thing. As far as I know, of course, I'm, I didn't and have not studied the specific text in depth about any, uh, as far as the Unitarian Universalists. It sounds awesome, though. I mean, I would totally take on that name. Unitarian Universalist. It's like, really? And I think unless there's a different, what is Unitarian, I think is, is actually specifically different, but I really don't know. And I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care right now. It's more like finding people that you resonate with and can be friends with. It is nice to have specific people or in the world that you can, you know, hug and, and all that good stuff, but <clears throat> no, it's it's not necessary. It mean, doesn't necessarily mean you're getting deep in any subject or anything, but it is some su some support, and you, know, you can get that in so many different ways, so many different groups, even like AA, right? I'll show you the steps. You take them, and it's inevitable. This is the application and reading of Speak Only When Spoken Through. Only part of a very intensive course in which guarantees transcendent experiences of alternate realities. More information at openandclear.com On the wrong line. Pristine. Today, I experience the untouched truth. Spirit, you say eternity is within me, and it is very holy. I am willing to learn this, to experience it, and to become it. With your assistance, all is possible. So I choose what you would have for me, and it is done. Thank you.
Well, you would assist me. Mm. Bahamas. Guess that's a swear word now. While you would insist that your experience here involves a body. I would insist it involves an array of dancing densities of molecular structure. <laughs> molecular structure. Of dance of dancing densities of monac oh. <laughs> yeah bloopers here yeah. huh? mm. oh, yeah. of dancing densities of molecular structures that currently are residing in a position of a form like pattern to represent your chosen experience by what you expect from the current belief that you are. You are quite literally experiencing the possible development of this new idea. You are calling a separate universe. What you call a world with a body would only be a bus stop to the actual destination it just so happens to be a campus so you make the best out of it however the only thing you are actually learning is to be and think in different densities this world offers only one of them What you are as a body is nothing in comparison to who you are as soul, nor is that anything to the sun in which illuminates them. What you call your mind that holds your personality is a development of the soul within the densities of a safe, seeming separate world, which only exists while memory is being used. For with it and past judgments, there is determining of what things are. goes again. Thanks for being here. You're behind the scenes and we are just wrapping it up here in just a moment. Get back to our conversation. So if you want to chat, if you want to chat privately, you can always email me and contact me otherwise on your preferred social media by visiting openandclear.com. Coaching is available. Let's have a beautiful experience here. <laughs> I am Ra. You obviously are not Ra. I am Ara Maharaj. I tell you, Shingo Ball. Did I pardon? He snapped the Ula for Tato. He was the Nabadan, he took a ticker bugger. He was a raw. Then you don't like yourself, my friend. Of 
course, Ra knows how to re respond to me that it's just there. Instead, he runs away. Of course. Well, when one's beliefs are just made up based off of theories, you know, it's very vile and flimsy, needs defense, and you need to beat up on others, you know, beat up other ideas, say, well, oh, your ideas stink, as he was saying, your beliefs stink. His name is I am wrong. It's sad. It's interesting how much negative pushback I've been getting the past few days. The only person that came on the Periscope so far says... It's something about, of course, it's about making money. <laughs> what? It's like you don't think one is allowed to be supported? <laughs> oh, man. It's so adorable. Everybody's struggling so bad. And that nobody really wants to find peace. Jeez, let's find peace. Please, let's find peace. I want to find peace. <laughs> find is a funny word. It somehow implies that it's not already there. I have been picking up on negative energies and it seems dark to me. It's literally only fear. Like an absence of recognizing like the love there. I was willing to have a good conversation with Ra there, but no. I... Darn. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be popular among the minis. It's, it's funny how it comes up, you know, it's like people, like, why are you trying to get famous? <laughs> like that guy, of course it's about making money. Like what? <laughs> it's interesting how people see this stuff and how likely would it be that they assess their lives and, and how much they see that in everything. It's pretty remarkable. 
People don't recognize, wow, I keep seeing the same thing in so many different people, and yet actually believing it's all these people. <laughs> it's like, I am the common denominator. When am I going to realize that I am the one applying that there? <laughs> and that it's my lesson, right? So let's, let's relax, let's chill out a little bit, and simply recognize that we can't see anybody as they really are because we're so obsessed uh yeah with that money making scheme yeah idea it's like what <laughs> and that was supposedly even a core student and of course people have this idea i mean even myself i i did subscribe to it for a little while as far as i i couldn't understand why people would charge or try and make money off of this and i found out that what my problem was was that it wasn't about that specifically it was more so about the fact people made non-profits and try to make a profit uh, it's kind of common in a course in miracles communities is to to make this sort of a non-profit or a church type scenario and then i i always pushing people for donations and pushing people for money and and oh, you gotta pay this much for this retreat and all this stuff. And you know, it's funny because even starting like a, an actual business or corporation or whatever, uh, I, I'm more flexible on payments than nonprofits are. <laughs> like, let's, I, I'm not concerned with it. And yes, I'll be absolutely honest with you. Uh, I want to bring home the bacon to my family. Yes. It's true, but I don't want to do that in some way of trying to con somebody into buying something that they don't need. Uh, I don't want to do that in, in some sort of way that uh, convincing or doing something that is, is an unnecessary service or, or just away from my purpose. You know, I want to stick with my purpose, my skills, what I know and, and everything. I, I'm not, it's not about the money. Yeah, an online retreat is $127. That's ridiculous. Uh, I, I don't know which one you're talking about specifically, but uh, I have a pretty good idea. Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting. Yeah. Though I completely understand, you know, I understand that it's all about survival and everything. And let's, but let's be honest, you know? <laughs> Let's be honest, instead of, oh, we're not trying to make money, we're non-profit. The ACIM retreat, well, it's, you know, by demand, and the funny thing is, is people pay that. And if you're thinking of uh, David Hoffmeister's uh, little get-up, uh, yeah, it's often... There's a big isolation between people because they can't afford his services. And they have a... a... Gee, hey, stranger. You're not listening to you, Jay Birdie Boy. You know, I don't know. Maybe you just don't speak my language and understand how I talk. But you say, you, you know, this of Course Miracle stuff kind of goes over your head. And, you know, it's, it's, I do speak some extreme stuff, but, you know, you're, you're just talking about the same stuff. You know, you're just talking about the same stuff. I thought about telling you that earlier, so it came out right away when I, when you go hopping on here. <laughs> Thanks for all the hearts. We're just about to get into a discussion. And, yes can be somewhat to <laughs> I mean why to stay home and pay that much dumb yeah and you know how much of that stuff is actually like scripted or anything no they they just go in there and you know, spurge stuff and say stuff and sometimes it goes over my head sometimes it's it resonates depends on my mindset when I come in yeah no I understand absolutely uh, yeah it's true but there are definitely a more relatable uh, under, uh, practices and 
you know, that are more relatable with the world and what's going on. Uh, this is definitely kind of on the upside of relatable events, and it gets kind of intense. That's where most people think enlightenment is, you know, debatable and trying to figure it out and talk about it. And it is definitely um, just like any of law of attraction and, and working with the universe is, is where it's leading, you know, where we're going. And in no way am I saying that it's the end, of course, but it is definitely part of it. I'm not paying for something like that. It doesn't resonate with me. That This doesn't want we we are doing. This does what we are doing. Yeah, you know, yeah, this is like being here live. This is given to her just off freely. I'm, I'm doing this. And yet <clears throat> I also have the course that people do uh, believe is is better if they pay for it. You know, some people speak that language. Some people don't. And it's, you know, some people want it free. Like I was often like, you know, mostly because I had no money. And so, you know, do that. And then... Uh, of course, some people think things have, if they're free, they have no value whatsoever. And that's a lot of why there's no nobody viewing my stuff here. <laughs> this has no value to me. It doesn't cost twenty nine ninety nine, um, And so, you know, it's, it's just that mindset. It's, people think differently and we have different languages in that sense, not just uh, audibly. You've definitely experienced things that I can't even imagine yet on my journey. That's why I worship you. <laughs> you don't worship me, man. Show me the altar. Because <laughs> if you're worshiping me, it has to be gold. Come on. <laughs> gold and silver, I prefer. <laughs> uh, nah. Uh, it's, you know, that's what this course is about, is a mind training. But no, Jay, man, if you're if you're interested, I mean, I do talk about some extreme stuff in the first part, but I'll totally give you access to the first part if you want to check it out. Um, yeah, um, you know, free, as long as you find value in it when it's free. <laughs> well, you get what you pay for. This is priceless to me. Ah, yeah, that's that's tricky because like you get what you pay for. It's like. Okay, then this costs 500 bucks, right? <laughs> you can't afford gold about uh, gold paint. Yeah, gold, you know, leaf, leaf, gold leaf paint. Yeah, you can make a statue of me or something. One going like this. Why not? <laughs> no, no, dude. <laughs> that would be hilarious, though. It would be funny if you do something just for a joke, but, uh, you know. No, uh, no Ten Commandments over here. I find the most value in things that are free. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, see, everybody's different. Everybody's different. And uh, I, I definitely agree. I would rather and think something is great and give a donation of my choosing and currently current availability uh, than... Uh, so much as uh, requiring a specific payment amount, you know. Or gold Christmas garland. <laughs> Jay, are you bringing me under the mistletoe? <laughs> I'm married, come on. <laughs> a garland of mistletoe, maybe. No, maybe I'm the one thinking mistletoe and you're not. I don't know why. Okay, I'll just shut up. <laughs> Make it gold mistletoe. <laughs> it, it's, it is kind of a new thing of mine as far as thinking of gold and silver. And it's interesting, like it resonates with me. It, it, ever since my death experience, I've, I've never actually been into gold and silver a whole lot. But now it represents consciousness and spirit to me. And it's actually, I, I don't know if you know, I carry a staff with me everywhere I go, and it's gold and silver and wood. <laughs> gold tinsel stream, streaming from your photo, <laughs> which, I, which I have mounted. It's actually your face on uh, 
really? Wait, you actually imagined my face already? My picture up? <laughs> and then there are rules because you're married. Uh, you know, uh, it's more respect. As far as on my side, there's no rules. But as far as on her side, yes, there are rules. This is crazy. I am not into money stuff. Why are you still talking about money stuff? <laughs> We've been talking about garlands of mistletoe. Oh, wait, silver and whatever in this. Uh, what's it called? Anyways, cool stuff. Uh, tinsel, lots of tinsel. I didn't know, but I... In, uh, but I envision you naked. Envision you naked. With nothing but a staff. <laughs> really? Like before this, you knew about the staff? Oh man, that's like. So I drew this paint, this picture, but uh, a while back. But my son just spilled juice all over it, so it looks terrible. Hopefully, you can see the picture. I didn't actually put the dick in there, but I am naked with a belt, I don't know why. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> and I don't have my complete face on there. I did this like uh, when I first developed my stick. My son spilled juice all over it. Or a cross and cozy as at the least. Well, then if you're seeing me naked, I mean, I don't mind. But I'm a little chubby these days. And, uh, <laughs> you gotta know my tattoos. Why do you carry a staff where, everywhere you go? It was given to me step by step to make and develop since my death experience. And it represents uh, many things. But the most common thing I tell everyone is that it represents uh, God walks with me everywhere I go. You can read more about that on my page, my website, openandclear.com. And click the big question button. Such a superhero, I love it. Yeah, I actually have that tattoo on my chest, you know what I'm saying? Seven Sela Solomon. Oh, I own the chubby rolls, absolutely. I'm not I'm not complaining. <laughs> Though it is coming up to beach season, I know. <laughs> no, it's not actually. Seriously though, that's a good drawing. No, I, thank you. Um I haven't drawn in many many a years, but I do do figures. How long did you, did that, that tattoo tank? Uh, yeah, the first time, oh man, that was so painful. <laughs> I'm like, ah, you're opening up <laughs> the gateway. Ah, death. It was so intense. Um, I took, uh, I, I don't remember. I think the first one was about two hours, and then the touch-up was... Was roughly about the same, a little bit less, it seems like, but I really don't remember. So you're saying there's no boundaries with you and your marriage, but she does have boundaries. Yeah, it's more so in my mind, I'm completely free and liberated uh, in every subject, but then in respect with other people and depending on theirs, and and yes, including her and my commitment that we have which was and is mostly about having children. And, and of course, just, I mean, we have a story of how we met. And everything is pretty awesome. But we are definitely more so this commitment has, is something that transcends the physical world. It's, this is a long time, a long term commitment that we've had for lifetimes. Is that the only one, or is there a tramp stamp? <laughs> no, there's no tramp stamp, but my first one is this one. And I obviously got this one. 
Lamia skate. And I have one around my ankle. I've designed many, and in fact, but I'm not so much into the caring about what I look like so much. Uh, so you are capable of fucking around? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> um, not in, a, in the most part, because she does not want me to. I don't want to disrespect her. She can, she can watch. <laughs> hey, I, I totally agree with uh, tagging along and participating. <laughs> hey, what is this, what's happening here? <laughs> you have three tattoos. My around my ankle says it's actually a quote from A Course in Miracles, and it says trust would settle every problem now. Trust would settle every problem now. Did you get that? Are you writing that down? Weirdo. <laughs> it's just gone silent in here. Let's see if I can still do the cricket. And really wet lips. I don't mean to bring a low vibration to the Course in Miracles scalp. Jay, man. Oh, how could you? No, dude. This is about all frequencies. We are the white light. Before the prism divides it up between red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, wait, blue in there, indigo, violet. We are all frequencies. Though I think sex talk is a high vibe. <laughs> you can. You know, I, I think I suck at sex now. Definitely, you know, I don't know if it's at my age or something. Just all of a sudden it doesn't take long. <laughs> I have one on my forearm and two on my ankles. I have an Eeyore, like, like Winnie the Pooh Eeyore. With Milo's name and birthday. Is that how you spell Eeyore? Yeah, that's pretty good cricket chirp there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm all about indigo myself as well. But, uh, my indigo is really just a dark, dark blue. It's not so much involving purple as many interpret. Seriously doubt that. I don't remember what you're doubting already. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> You gotta help me out, there's a little delay. Man, I'm getting some crazy static something or other. It don't suck. Oh no. And if you're just trying to get into the finish line, yeah, I mean it's true, it's like uh Yeah, well I don't I don't know how to talk about it. It's uh I mean, if it's a new fun thing, a fun game, then, you know, then that's a whole different story. That's why everybody likes new people all the time, you know? I can talk sex with guys, but better than most women, I am a lesbian, so we think alike. <laughs> yeah. And you're, you're a dyke lesbian, too, not lipstick, so, yeah, you, you're more like a manly woman. Indigo snake was my favorite snake when I was a kid. Oh yeah, there's an indigo snake? Is it like a indigo <laughs> snake? <laughs> He's the collect snakes. Nice. Quit being modest and just talk about sex. Uh, you know, I, no, I, I just don't have the words that I was, I wasn't trying to hold back. I was more so like, what, what, what am I saying here? You know? Had a rat snake and a scarlet king snake and a greater snake, a gardener snake, garter. I ran into a rattlesnake a couple times, actually here in Utah. I remember getting to a cliff, like trying to find my own way through this path. I'm like, yeah, yeah, and then 
so I'm like, okay, I know I have to walk back slowly. At the same time, I think uh, it's it's one of my animals. Um, but uh, I swear it was a dream. I don't know if it was real or not. I am the man in the relationship. Oh, good, good jolly wheeze. I'd be a lipstick lesbian if at any at all. I'm, I, I, you know, I don't know. I'd like to say I'm a lesbian stuck in a man's body, but what, you know, what is, what does that really mean? <laughs> what does that really involve? Because I don't jig the bean, you know what I mean? Because that, that also implies that I might take it. And I, I'm not one for taking it a whole lot. Uh, they look black, but they have a blue tone. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, the Egyptian, right? And I think I've seen it. I can look it up right now. Heck, I got several computers here now. Yeah, rattlesnakes are creepy, man. You know, when I was first learning about spirit animals, as much as there's dominance one and two, uh, that's more so, even as the chakras, you actually have uh, roughly around 14 spirit animals that, in the sense of developing your person, your personality. And of course, just like in the chakras of the frequencies, you have dominance in specific ones and you know, a, a deficiency in other ones. And so it's in the same in the same way, but we, we kind of all have just a draw to certain types of animals and they speak to us and they're like symbols, symbols that we can use this, as far as the spirit universe can use to communicate with us. You know, one for taking it, but you liked it. All right. <laughs> I like to be in charge. Okay. Kind of. I think pandas are definitely one of mine. <laughs> you know, I have a niece actually upstairs uh, who absolutely loves panda bears. Yeah, think of it as kind of a positive and a negative to each element or each frequency. As far as the seven. A stallion. Uh, yes, actually. And the peacock. <laughs> and uh, I know I got coyote and wolf. As well as turtle. And we got a, a rattlesnake in there. I haven't taken a census in a while. Don't remember. <laughs> How do you repair my second chakra? So this coming year, I'm going to be getting into the full spectrum diet in which I've developed. And we will go through balancing, actually balancing and using everything to being a full spectrum of frequencies and, and everything about uh, so repairing a lot of stuff <laughs> as far as repairing your second chakra which really isn't uh, broken it's not doesn't really need repair it's more so um, like the faucets closed and we just need to figure out and find out what helps to open that faucet so we're going to be feeding it feeding it opposed to suppressing it and there's a, you know, it's tricky because you think some things are feeding it, but really, uh, especially if it's a big draw to it, like you're really craving it, for an example, if you're really craving sex, is mostly because you're deficient in it. And you really, like, need to fill in your bucket. Like your bucket's empty and you're saying, I need something in this bucket. And you're trying to pour it in there, but your bucket's em uh, upside down so it keeps falling out, right? You know what I mean? Metaphorically speaking. So you need to fill it up again the next day, right? Because it's empty again. I 
I think I joke too much because I worry that people don't like me, so I behave like a clown. Yeah, well, people don't, so get used to it. <laughs> Can I say it more seriously? <laughs> hey, Jay, you gotta write me on Facebook or something. I got a question for you that... Yeah, but I am deficient for sure. I need something pouring in mine. <laughs> I'm taking a lot of pain in the second chakra. Well, also you have the assumption that it is the second chakra. But you've taken a lot, a lot of pain in it. Um, it. You know, this whole thing, you're like kind of this whole big... Like, it's not separate. Like, we like to... That's why I don't use the words chakra. Instead, I use frequencies. And just like a rainbow, one leads into the next, leading into the next. They're not separate. <laughs> here is this chakra, and here is this chakra. And here is this. It's not separate. It's it's one big, one big fluidity. And it's more so in the application of resistance that it's even separate or frequencies in the first place uh jay birdie <laughs> he's over on periscope so you'll probably be there in a second won't you met him through jai actually right jay jason as long as you don't seek to hurt my feelings i'll message you uh no i got an invite for you i just don't want to talk about it i'm here right now Carla J says hello. J Carla's on Facebook. Well, you can write me anywhere. I guess you can write me on Twitter. I, I'm confused with Twitter writing. Can you do private writing with each other? I'm new to Twitter, so I don't really understand it. <laughs> Really, you don't come in here enough to be obsessed, and you don't watch my replays. You got a strange way of showing it. Yeah, there you are now. All right. No, I think you're in the wrong page. Go to the Devin Byrne page, the Reverend Devin Divine page. The Dark Prince. Oh, Dark Prince. Uh, yes, in fact, I volunteered for the position. But uh, oh, it's your magic. Oh, yeah, you might not be talking about it. <laughs> it's your magic. I guess it draws me like like a magnet. Oh, very good. I guess. Is that positive to negative? Because that's usually how magnets work. I watch them all repeatedly, but I don't do it on Periscope TV, so you won't know and think I'm a stalker. Ooh, is that a dude on Twitter? <laughs> Shut up, dude. Are you serious? Well, help me out. Share. Share these things. I'm upset they got rid of the bots. Ugh. Now my numbers are, like, terrible. <laughs> now everybody knows how many people actually tune into my program. <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> I don't really care, but it's funny. It's like, man, I was getting hundreds of views. Now I'm getting 10. What are we on, 19 right now? Great. <laughs> Where are my repeat bots? You might read beep bots. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Carla, you can do the same now that you're on Periscope. Oh, but she just left. What's she doing? Uh, in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out, Carla. All right, so we're going to have a discussion about this lesson. And if you stay tuned, I'll try and uh, water it down for you a little bit. <laughs> Well, I've only seen a few bots in the past couple weeks. They were kind of annoying, but 
you know, help my numbers. <laughs> help me feel better about myself. The funny thing is, it's kind of true. That's why it's so funny. Kind of sad at the same time. Kind of sad. <laughs> Man, my teeth really look yellow today. I don't know if it's a juice I'm drinking or what. I'm gonna have an impression before I get on here. Wait, you only have 240 followers? How is that possible? Uh, I just started broadcasting on Periscope uh, about two months ago. No, f four months ago. What, you don't see him? Jay, did you block Carla? <laughs> ACI and Reflections. I have 2,000 and like you said, said nobody even liked me. Hey, I'm just, I was just playing. I don't know if anybody really likes you or not. But I, I could decide for the rest of the universe if you want. I am the spokesperson. How long have you been streaming? Like two years? Uh, no, not your YouTube. I don't do much on YouTube. I don't think I did. Jay, she's... Hey, Carla, she sees you. Hey, he... What? Guys, you guys are mixing me up now. <laughs> you guys are both uh, gay, right? And, and getting all this gender stuff mixing up in my head now. I'm a little confused. <laughs> She can't see me, huh? That's weird. Carla, you can't see him? Oh. Yeah, I'm subscribed to you on Periscope. What's your channel on YouTube? Is that what you're asking, Carla? Just click his name. How did you get 22,000 subscribers in two months? What? How much did you pay for that? like YouTube man all of these it I, I, don't, I don't believe it oh you saying I only have 250 on on, on YouTube I'm banging stuff on yeah the ray of light tarot is oh that's yours I saw that on the on the thing oh Nice. But you are putting money into that, right? That's how you got that, right? You put a little advertising into there, huh? At least uh, going through YouTube. You want to help me out a little bit? As far as tell me how to do it? You don't have to hear, uh, you know. I believe you. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying I don't believe that you didn't pay for it. Just like Facebook, you know, and YouTube, you know, I, I, yeah, yeah, you gotta pay for that, <laughs> right? And it's, you know, that's the way it works. Not one cent. Well, cool. Just getting into the, doing the tarot cards, maybe. Cool. Give me a... Go in. Shoot, man. 22,000? You just started it. But you gotta notice the 
featured and all that stuff. You know, that that probably might be part of the key is that like I've had I had my YouTube page for like 15 years and I kind of want to do a different name because it has a silly name or tag that uh, I don't completely agree with but maybe it would uh, be a good idea to start new because at the time you know I think I was kind of categorized or labeled as a specific genre which I'm not now and and now my I'm not you know getting the full spectrum of what I offer and visibility with it you know what I mean so starting off fresh might be a good idea actually Well, Carla says she wants to join. You can see her, and you can't. She wants to follow. What's your website, Jason? Is it on your page? Yeah, click on his uh, his profile. It's right there. Though you can't click on those on the phone on on my phone anyway. Can't click links like that. Jonda and I are broadcasting on there weekly, and I'm hoping her channel takes off. Ray of Light Tarot, you see that? Rayoflighttarot.com. Yeah, no, I I see that you guys been been doing some pretty pretty often stuff. I haven't been watching them all. I actually don't watch much of anything. Except for freaking Elmo and Thomas the Train around here. El Ray of Light Tarot on YouTube. If you search that for separate separate words, Ray of Light Tarot. I'm assuming, Carly, can you see his typing? For some reason, I got the idea that you can't see each other. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and get to this discussion as it is 2 o'clock now here. That means it's 4 o'clock there, Jason. What are you doing, man? What the hell are you doing? I can help you get followers. Just be on my channel. I'll either interview you or something. Hey, that would be great. I mean, I'm I'm definitely looking for interviews and and all that stuff. So, what do you think about starting a new channel? You think that's a good idea? Maybe I should. With well, my podcasts were doing quite well, and I'm just branched into the video thing and I'm taking a break from the podcasting specifically. Are you using Restream? Where you broadcast on several locations at once? Which Jai and Chandra are using now? Well, that might be part of the problem. Uh, but uh, I'll see if I can. I'll look into it. She had 30 followers before she started doing the videos on my channel. Two weeks ago now she has like 200 or 450. That's cool. Yeah, you know, so I'm not like huge on how many numbers. I don't care if I have trillions. Uh, but I just want to make sure I'm getting to the right people. The people that are looking for what I got. Yeah, you too. That's cool, dude. 22,000, huh? Yeah, my podcast, my first time around, got me addicted when I got 33,000 downloads a week. I was right in, it was right in the time when I just got into A Course in Miracles, started doing it, and then Oprah starts talking about A Course in Miracles, and 
so everybody's looking and reading her stuff and and then people were finding me through that it's pretty remarkable well, thank you I appreciate it it is uh, exactly it's about exposure though to help people yeah yeah no yeah definitely about exposure and I I'm kind of like on many different platforms many different streams and as much as I I just get little little bites nibbles here and there you know and a lot of people it's a little outrageous for them and stuff so it's definitely not for everybody but uh well it's interesting as much as it is about that as well as like being actually seen like on all these things you haven't put a penny in that uh, <laughs> you got noticed by somebody that's for sure you get noticed by somebody that has a lot of followers and shared your stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, like with interaction, when you guys are talking and we're talking to each other, it's so much more enjoyable around here. As far as, you know, I definitely have some boring streams going on. <laughs> I only have 2,000 followers on here on scope so one app can be uh, can be so where another blows up yeah really slow yeah gotcha do you make your um youtube videos by phone and you told me to be patient and it will just be prepared for me it's true yes yes And especially when you're purifying your mind and you're going through this training, it uh, there's definitely some things that you need to eliminate as far as the way of thinking that you have. For me, I think it was a universe thing, honestly. I resisted the calling for so long. So when I stopped resisting it, the abundance flowed in. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, yeah you know, it's, it's funny because... You know, I know all the, the techniques, but I'm also not, I'm purposely not using the techniques. <laughs> it's, you know, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time. I don't use any fancy equipment. It's my content where the value lies. They love the readings. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, this coming year I'm planning on doing some more intriguing and entertaining stuff as far as different ways of discussing about really the same stuff, just a little more entertaining. I couldn't afford the equipment you and Jai have. Oh, Jai buys some expensive stuff. I buy the cheap stuff. <laughs> she gets a, and she just got a board that was like two thousand dollars. I got I got a two hundred dollar one, but it was given me even. Uh, Devin, you said that you aren't concerned with numbers. I'm not concerned with numbers. That's what I'm saying. I'm more so concerned with reaching the people that I need to reach. The specific people. If I could do that, just specifically reach those people, you know, it might just be, you know, <laughs> 25. <laughs> but it's like, to find those 25, it's like one in a hundred. <laughs> know what I mean? Uh, and specifically, I'm telling you, stop concerning yourself with the numbers because you're getting kind of obsessed with trying to get people to read your stuff and your, everything, and you need to relax about that because you're losing focus. Now, I could guess, but I don't have it before, so I figure why not now? Well, why now? Okay. I don't know exactly what you're saying there, but... Yes. Awesome beans. Cool beans. All right, so let's get to this discussion here before my son wakes up again. Time's ticking. So just know I don't respond or read comments while I am recording 
but I would love to get to them afterwards. I'm not concerned with numbers myself either. I started with no expectations, just wanted to help. And that's beautiful. That's perfect. I'm not sharing my stuff anymore. Yeah. You know, and times change, but right now that's what it is, Carla. Yeah. Either they read it or they don't. And, like, your son found it. You know? How'd that happen? I'm kind of amazed, though, but definitely not arrogant about it. Because I wasn't... It wasn't me. It was higher power. Agreed. Alright, let's do this. These are a series of exercises in which help us to apply the lessons that we have been learning a part of a very intensive course that guarantees experience of transcendence and divine realization. Register for this course now and learn more about it at openandclear.com. So definitely taking this as far as the idea of my eternal holiness abides in me, even just as simple as that concept, as simple as that idea, let's remember that holiness is more so, and as far as H-O-L-Y, is kind of a made-up word in the misunderstanding of what W-H-O-L-L-Y is actually referring to. That holiness, and it, it holy as far as holiness, is kind of a strictly a tr- Christian terminology from that same idea, that uh, what it actually involves is wholeness. And it is more so about the wholeness and the whole reality of what you actually are. That yes, the wholeness of all the universe abides in you. <laughs> well, that's pretty simple. Okay, we're done here today. <laughs> all right. But there's, <laughs> if you can grasp this, then what you are coming into understanding, what you've been guided to, the different paths that you've been uh, brought upon and taken through and so on, the different practices, energy works, the different modalities, massage, different schooling, different practices and so on, all have been leading you, even as A Course in Miracles is leading you as well, to the recognition, the realization, the revelation of what this wholeness has to do with you and where it is. So we're talking wholeness, not just a whole being, uh, being your whole self. Yes, that is perfect. That is beautiful. But what I'm saying is what your whole self exceeds yourself. I'm talking about the whole self as in all of the universe and all universes of universes and all possible variations of all universes all abides within you. It's pretty intense. So to take that in that fashion, to grasp that, and to recognize that what you are attempting to discover through this process of forgiveness, through letting go, through trusting, through opening up, through revealing, is this, the wholeness of all reality. As we've discussed this, as we've talked about this so very much, It is definitely in there as far as what you are coming into discovering. It's still there. It's still there today. And it's not some other place as much as you think of yourself as an individual, separate person. It still remains to be true that it's in you. And it's kind of important to point out that it's within you. More so like that funnel idea. That uh, when you get down into the, the very center of it, when you get to the center of your being, you drop down into a whole nother place. And I think of that center as, as a gateway or a doorway, a gate uh, like the gates of heaven. And that it's a whole nother place on the other side there, referring to the totality of all existence. So in that same sense as you are uh, you're coming into that recognition by healing your mind of all discernments, 
of all abilities to discern differences, of all resistance, of all desires and cravings, all aversions. You're letting go of this opposition stuff, coming back into this very instant, coming back into being centered, into this strict, specific focus. Ooh. It opens up. Of course, yeah, even that first line, my holiness is far beyond my ability to understand or know. It's too bad, really. It's like, why can't I know it? Why not? Why not? As much as I was able to tap into some pretty good knowledge before my death experience, it was when, and it was through that desire that I really wanted to, that even in my death experience, that it was part of what was answered. I desired to understand. I desired to know the truth. I desired to have this sort of revelation experience. And therefore I came back with the totality of the knowledge of all existence of all the universe, which you have in the same. But you have to discover what, essentially what is not you, to see what you are. So every time you're looking out, you're, you're more so everything you're forgiving. You're actually just surrendering, saying, oh no, this isn't what I am. Oh, this isn't what you are. Oh, this isn't what the world is. Oh, this isn't what... And you're, as much as it's included in the totality of everything, in itself, it is nothing. And so, as we want to come to know ourselves, we want to come into this truth, we let go, I am not a body, oh, I am not a world, that is not a fire hydrant, this is not a car. And we let it all go, forgiving the world, little by little, questioning and doubting, thinking, really thinking about how we, we like to just have natural assumptions. You know, oh, that is a fire hydrant, who cares? So what? Why do I need to forgive a fire hydrant? Oh, and gravity, and gravity is just natural. Why do I need to forgive gravity? And we got to recognize that this is the salvation of the world. It resides on you. It is all you. It is all yours. You got this. Everything comes from you. Everything is happening because you're happening. Because you're here. Because this is you. Oh my gosh. Literally. Oh my God. It's you. It's always been you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a glorious evening. You are beyond the scenes with me. As I export this file, it is a perfect time for any comments, questions, if you want me to elaborate on anything you heard, this is the best moment right now. Beyond the scenes of the development of this Udemy course, going through all 365 lessons of A Course in Miracles together, achieving ascension this time. Sharing this recording Liking it and commenting is very much appreciated. Hello, Nadine.
Your interaction is very welcome. Thank you, Nilekna, for being a part of my life. Interesting that you pop in right in that moment, Nadine, right when I start the discussion. Is it like one in the morning there? What are you doing? A little worshipped. You like my segue there? My interlude. Trying to develop a few of them. Yeah, we just had Jason in here, and then he disappears, right? And the discussion starts, and you appear, huh? So, let's not waste more time and get right into this. Dis we did the discussion, didn't we? The meditation, compiling the meditation, which has been pretty simple lately. I think it's humorous that a lot of people want like the core of your belief system right away all the time and they're going to assume that the what you're talking about is the core of your belief system and then, then the judge what you are talking about in that moment assuming that's everything you believe <laughs> is it's very humorous to me <laughs> like oh no this is this is pretty massive stuff you know this is this is huge this is no little thing no this is this is huge man this is huge oh restream is spazzing out all right let's go ahead and get into this what are we feeling like we get some uh Go back to the waterfall. Meditation in the rainforest today. Sorry, I might miss comments because uh, my thing just spazzed out and everybody's comments just dis displayed again twice and just got all crazy up in here. Something about reading Facebook, this thing has weird, wild stuff going on. into the green. Alright, let's do this. Uh, why is it doing that?
enter into that space of my being. As I surrender and allow myself to melt into this moment, a spaceless place within me. Surrendering to the center of the universe. Embracing the holiness of all that is. Accept every degree of my reality. I embrace every possible option of my being. center of my being. I relax. I relax. Oh, there's my son. I knew this would happen. Okay, keep this playing. Here we go. I choose the reality of the world God intended for me. choose the reality of my experience. I surrender all the beliefs to the contrary. I choose the guidance to you.
enter into that space of my being. As I surrender and allow myself every possible option of my being. As I relax and surrender into the center of my being. I relax. Hey Nadine, you still around? You asked why my face isn't lit up? It's just temporary during this meditation. I, I like to turn off the lights here. into that space of my being. As I surrender, I know you're there. And allow myself to melt into this moment, a spaceless place within me.
Beautiful evening.